Hello everyone and welcome back. A few breaks in the cloud cover here in Fargo. We are looking off to the south where additional thunderstorms are going to be making their way in here over the next couple of hours. But right now in Fargo, we're at 61 degrees. Wind is out of the southeast, still breezy today, not quite as bad as yesterday, but wind is out of the southeast, 21 miles per hour, gusting to 35 miles per hour. Moorhead also at 61 degrees, a little cooler with rain in Grand Forks, 55 degrees in wind is out of the east southeast at 18 miles per hour. Temperatures are generally in the 50s with a few low 60s. Another 61 in Fergus Falls, 60 in Alexandria, 53 Bemidji and Thief River Falls, Devils Lake 53 as well, 50 in Langdon, 57 in Baudette. Looking at wind, we still have been breezy today. We're gusting to 32 miles per hour out of the east in Baudette. A 32 mile per hour gust in Fergus Falls, gusting to 35 miles per hour in Sisseton, as well as here in Fargo. Now, satellite and radar showing that rain continuing across the Northern Valley. This is still what's remnant from last night. Not seeing any thunder and lightning, but now we've got uh, some moderate areas of rainfall from about New Folden, just south of Hallock through Grafton. Now, Southern Valley. We're watching some pop up showers, not yet seeing any lightning, but these will be developing into some thunderstorms here in the next couple of hours. And we're watching the possibility for brief, weak tornado development or even just a funnel or two. This will continue for the next couple of hours, so into the early afternoon. Keep an eye on the sky because these may not be well detected by the radar, so we might have a tough time seeing these on the radar if they do. Uh, start to produce a little bit of spin. So keep an eye on the sky and if you see a funnel or a brief weak tornado, report to law enforcement and head inside. This is where we're watching this area highlighted in green. This is where we've got some atmospheric energy to work with. Now it's not a lot. We're not expecting severe thunderstorms, but again, the brief week spin up some small hail and brief gusty winds will be possible within a couple of those stronger thunder showers that are developing. So looking ahead to your first alert forecast the rest of the day, the rain across the northern valley is going to be lifting and exiting and thunder showers will continue throughout the southern valley and uh, parts of west central Minnesota as well. These will weaken too as they lift up to the north into this evening. So really that spin up possibility is likely right through here, right through the Central Valley and into parts of Lakes Country. By 9, 10 o'clock tonight, precipitation clearing out. Possibility for some patchy fog into our Wednesday morning. Some clear, some clouds. And then through Wednesday afternoon, we see that breeze out of the northeast. Temperatures in the 60s, and we can't rule out an isolated shower or two, but tomorrow's going to be a bit drier. Temperatures this afternoon, 50s and 60s for the most part, into tomorrow afternoon, 60s to low 70s. So looking ahead to your planning forecast, more sunshine by Thursday, another chance of showers Friday. As we've been telling you all week, Mother's Day weekend is still shaping up to be pretty nice. Oh yes, and we're keeping an eye on the sky tonight. I like yes. it. <laughs> it is a little bit more active now that we're into May. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Summer. Sunburn is on the rise, raising the risk of skin cancer and melanoma. Straight ahead at noon, signs to look for in one patient's story about the importance of early detection.